Hi, I'm Michelle Brooks with My 4D Wellness. My 4D Wellness is four dimension. You make a decision, you make the determination, you gather the discipline, and then you deploy. This presentation is on week zero. This free presentation talks about you've made that decision, so where do you go from here? Let's first look at a little bit of background. Did you know three out of four people that lose weight end up regaining it back? That makes complete sense to me as I cannot tell you how many pounds that I've lost and then found again. You will need to make these changes and commit to them for the next two to five years in order for your efforts to be successful. These changes will need to be tailored to your personal lifestyle, time allowance, and resource availability. Something you may need to think about is once you have obtained your weight loss and you've met that goal, you are going to need different strategies then to maintain that weight loss. Those will be different from what you actually used to lose the weight. Let's look at the healthy habitual routine. In week zero, what you'll do is look at these seven elements of the zero to 10 program and you'll look at how you can arrange those elements to fit into a routine for you over the next six weeks. We'll look at goals and plans, self-monitoring or regular weighing in, high level of exercise activity, how to choose that, consistent healthy diet, social support and associations, increasing your knowledge base, and adaptation through repetition and substitution. So what do all those big words mean? First up is goals and plans. So this week, what you're gonna do in week zero is you are going to take a look at where you want your five-year goal to be for your health and wellness. What do you wanna weigh? Where do you want your health to be? How fit do you wanna be? And draw that out and make a note of where that five-year goal is. Then come a little bit closer to where we are now and establish a one-year goal. How much do you want to weigh? How, what do you want your level of fitness to be? Where do you see your health and wellness being a year from now? And then finally, write down a goal for yourself for the first six weeks of the zero to 10 program. Incorporating that program, where do you see yourself being in six weeks if you make those changes that we're talking about? So let's break down those goals into examples. Suppose in five years, we want to weigh 135 and be able to run four miles. Suppose in a year from now, we'd like to weigh 145 and be able to run two miles. Now suppose we're making out a list of goals over the next six weeks in our zero to 10 program. Maybe in week one, I want to lose two pounds because I'm now going into a program. I'm usually pretty good about following things and I know I could lose those two pounds in that first week. Maybe I'm going to say I'm going to exercise three days a week because I don't want to commit to something that I know my schedule will not allow. So I know I can get three days in and that's what I'm going to commit to. Those are my goals. In week two, I want to do the same thing. I want to be able to do two weeks solid of the same thing. I want to lose two pounds and I want to exercise three days a week. Say that third week, I'm like, well, I know I'm into the third week. I know that usually your weight loss slows down a bit, a little bit. So I want to say I'm going to lose a pound that week but I want to add a strength workout and maybe I want to do cardio and exercise four days a week. In week four, maybe I want to do the same thing. Maybe I want to add another strength workout. In week five, maybe I want to keep up with that routine, but I want to add something in. I want to say one day this week, I want to go out and run or walk a mile and I want to time it when I see how fast I can do it. Maybe I want to do that in week one and compare it with week six. So these are some ways to go ahead and write down some goals for your first six weeks of your zero to 10 program. The next factor in the zero to 10 program is self-monitoring. We can do this with regular weigh-ins regardless of how on or off the wagon you've been. Use your journal doc to track your daily weights and try to weigh yourself at the same time every day. You can measure your waist and hips as well, and this will provide some comparison for the weeks that the scale may not seem to move. The next 
factor of the zero to 10 program is choosing a high level of exercise activity. So go ahead and explore different options of high exercise activity that you may choose to do. Don't choose running if running is something that you will dread or you absolutely hate getting out there and doing it. You need to find something that you are going to enjoy and something that you're going to look forward to. Perhaps your high level activity will just be to take a hike on a trail. Maybe that's it. The next factor is a consistent, healthy diet. Always eat breakfast. The research has been very clear that those who skip breakfast usually have more issues with weight and obesity. Be consistent from the week to the weekend. Don't binge eat. Don't starve yourself one morning because you're gonna eat big on Friday night. The idea is to have a consistently healthy diet. Always plan your meals ahead. The research shows that we can keep with our diet plans as long as we've planned ahead. Usually when you're planned ahead, you know what you're gonna eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner the next day. I will usually do this before I go to bed at night. I'll usually plan out what am I gonna have for breakfast. Usually it's the same thing, six days a week, I have oatmeal. Uh, so uh, go ahead and be consistent with that and plan meals out ahead. You can even, in week zero here, take some time and plan out a day of what you would think you would consider to be a healthy diet for a day. Then when we meet up, this will give us an idea on where to go from here. So social support and associations. Basically, find a social fitness group and join. Find something. Trail sisters, local running groups, is there a CrossFit gym nearby, hiking, swim club, local biking group, find something that you enjoy and then join up with them. A lot of times you can join social media sites. This will help if there's an activity around you that is going on that you can get involved with. Interact with others on social media or in groups. Look for local events to participate in. Maybe this could be a 5K to help you support that local hospice. Build a wardrobe that helps you maintain excitement about your activity. Always invest in the appropriate footwear, that's important, and safety equipment. So if you're going to be running at night, make sure you've got reflectors. Make sure you're running in a safe area. Make sure that you have a phone on you or a tracking device on you. Make sure that you have a functional hydration bottle, especially in the warmer months. I think this next factor is so crucial to the success of your zero to 10 program. Knowledge is power, right? So increasing your knowledge base, read up on your activity or a new activity that you would like to try. For example, maybe you want to try stand up paddleboard, read up on different recipes that you can prepare and learn about new ways to prepare foods. Know what your protein contents are in your foods. People will be very quick to challenge whether or not you're getting enough protein. So if you can come back and say, well, this plant-based meal I had, had 17 grams of protein in it, then know those protein contents and be able to give an answer when someone challenges you. Study your own health issues. Like if you have high cholesterol or high blood pressure, look and see what are some of the things that you can do with diet and exercise to help reduce your risk factors in those areas. And that's something as a nurse that I would love to help you be able to do as well. And finally, healthy adaptation through repetition and substitution. Basically, keep on doing it. And if you can't do it, find something else that you can keep on the same track. So use your journal docs to track your intake, your activity, and any interventions that you feel you've taken to help improve your overall well-being. Looking back on this from week to week, you can see where you may have gotten some of your success from. Sometimes if I'm at a plateau, I'll go back to the weeks that I was having some really good success and I will see, oh, well, I did this this day and I ate this this day. So I can look back and having made those journal entries, I can then go back and see, well, if it worked here, will it work again? If you're extremely tired, 
Instead of skipping a workout, try a less stressing workout. So instead of an evening CrossFit class, maybe you are just completely spent from something that came up today and another crisis or what you can do is just decide, I'm just going to walk around the neighborhood. Maybe when you're walking around the neighborhood, you might feel, you know what, I've walked 10 minutes. I feel like I've got a little bit more bounce in my step. Maybe I'll add a little jog to that around the neighborhood. So sometimes just getting out the door for those 10 minutes, I will be extremely tired sometimes and I will tell myself let me just get out the door if I can just get out the door and tell myself I'm just gonna walk 10 minutes I'm just gonna walk this workout I'm supposed to run four miles I'm just gonna walk nine times out of ten when I get out the door and I start walking I end up having run and most of the time when I have done that it's been a really good run with really good pace if you are getting ready for dinner and the thought of having to cook makes you just want to head out for takeout, have a backup plan ready to go. Keep some nutritious frozen meals in the freezer or have a place that you can go and eat out at, but know what you're going to order in advance. Like get a black bean burger with a side salad or something that's nutritious. Don't allow yourself to fall for the fries and chips and burgers with cheese and and a lot of grease and so really have a go-to a go-to freezer plan if you don't want to go out and a go-to takeout plan if you are just at the point where you just want to get out and go get something or you want to order out um you know grubhub or um doordash you know anything that you want to do but plan ahead for your healthy choices when you're doing that So you're still here. We looked at those seven factors that are going to help us in our success in our zero to 10 program. Now I want to look at some zero to 10 techniques. Suggestions, whether they're coming or going, keep track of suggestions in your journal docs. Offer suggestions to others in the group community. Ask those who have been successful for any suggestions, maybe something that you're struggling with and research for suggestions. Rewards, my favorite. Plan out rewards that fall within your budget. So not buying that brand new Mercedes is probably not gonna be one of your rewards for losing a pound for that week, but reward yourself for staying within the plan. I'll reward myself even if I don't lose my desired goal weight that week I would reward myself just for staying with the plan. Buying a new workout shirt one week and then a new pair of shorts the next week. Buying a new cookbook. Maybe your reward is a 30 minute soak in the tub after a hard workout. Include your rewards in your goals and plans. So reminders. Maybe putting a picture of yourself on the fridge or the snack cupboard. This could be a picture of you when you were at your ideal weight. Put your workouts and your meals into your calendar with reminders because working on you is important. Remind your loved ones and others that your scheduled time for yourself is important and you really need to be consistent. This is not saying we don't, we're not giving our families the appropriate time and the proper care and attention, but we do need to take care of ourselves. Remind yourselves of how far you've come by placing notes around your home or office, such as a yay, down five this week, or down five so far. Remind yourself that you are important. You need to look after you in order to care for others. Praise. Praise is similar to rewards and reminders, but don't lose the sight of the celebration of just completing a day on the plan. Give yourself praise for cooking and eating a healthy meal. Write down your daily praise in your journal docs. Most importantly, give praise to others that you notice that they've made improvements in their diet and activity. Thank those around you for helping you to stay on your plan. If you've liked what you've seen so far, then head on over to my website and sign up for an initial consultation. 
We can meet one-on-one, -on -one, go over any homework. I'll go ahead and give you some documents that you can fill out. We can make a plan about diet, activity, journaling, connecting. And at this time, you will have the opportunity to enroll for a full six weeks of zero to 10 health and wellness. You will receive personal counseling one-on-one, -on -one, weekly journal docs that will be prepared with that week's specific goals personalized for you and your plan. You'll have access to a zero to 10 support community. You'll receive some meal plans and recipes to help you plan your weekly nutrition and a weekly Zoom community class to get ideas from others and share what is working for you. My whole purpose for this is that you find success and that you find your path to your journey to health and wellness. And at this time, I just wanna thank you for sticking with this presentation throughout its entirety. And I hope that I get the chance to work with you and develop your goals and your plan and help you find success. Thank you so much and have a great day. I do wanna make a special mention when I am quoting percentages such as three out of four individuals regain their weight when they lose it I am not just quoting you something that I've heard from someone else. I'm going back to evidence-based practice and review literature and science. So I will always include references. Most of the information that was taken for me from the facts to develop this presentation was taken from this specific study. So you will always find references at the end of every presentation if I've used information. Thank you so much.